What's up you guys? I'm Tessalia. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of the Everlane bestsellers. I've been a fan of Everlane for years now because I think that they have very good quality basics. I would say an okay-ish price as well. Everlane is big on sustainability, so a lot of the pieces that they make are made from recycled material. But let's jump right into it and let's start with this blazer. This is an oversized blazer blazer it has an oversized fit as you can see it is made of a combination of wool and nylon and it has these beautiful pinstripes now this is a new addition for me something that i bought specifically for this video to show you guys but i also have a similar one in this color this is called i think this is called the boyfriend blazer if i'm not mistaken of course i'll link everything below for you guys with sizing and everything but this blazer i've had for i would say three years in my wardrobe right now and i've worn it to death this is i would say besides the frankish blazer i think this is my favorite blazer in my wardrobe because it's so easy to style it keeps me warm in the summer when I need like an extra layer it's also a very neutral color that pairs with everything in my wardrobe and because of the material I can wear it honestly all year round so I highly highly recommend these blazers from Everlane I think that the fit is phenomenal as well especially if you like more of a relaxed kind of blazer but still with some structure I think this is you know a go-to kind of blazer to have in your wardrobe if you want like a couple of different colors for example the blazers they have some shoulder padding so i would say that's one of the things that gives it structure they have like a flap pocket as well and this one has three buttons i'm realizing right now and this the one in wool has just two buttons so that's a slight difference but otherwise they have like a slit in the back yeah i would say pretty similar when it comes to sizing as well both blazers i got in a size four because like i said they are on the oversized side of things so i also had this blazer in black and for that one it was also a little bit of a different material but for that one i got it in a size 8 and for my taste it was a little bit too much oversized so i sold it off but i'll try to find pictures and insert them for you guys but they have this blazer in a couple of different colorways okay now the next item on their bestsellers list that this is the first time i'm trying this one on is this cardigan this is a alpaca and wool blend cardigan it is in a cropped you can see a cropped fit a super relaxed and super long sleeves with a little detail around the cuff area for me because i'm short it's not really cropped for me i would prefer a boxy cardigan like this to be just a little bit more cropped so just keep that in mind i think if you're taller it will look amazing on you but when it comes to the material oh my gosh this is so soft very very soft the only thing that i would like to mention is that because it's that alpaca material you will have like some pilling you know some of the fabric coming off but that's like very typical or a characteristic of alpaca so different brands that i've ordered this material this fabric i see that's like a common thing that i see so if that's not something that you like you know just keep that in mind this is in the color taupe which again is like one of those colors that in a neutral capsule wardrobe you can get tons of wear out of something like this so wear like a t-shirt underneath or with no t-shirt just to maybe to wear working from home as well so yeah for cozy months coming up this is like an essential for sure i got it in a size medium and i would say that's like true to size for me okay next up is this waffle crew neck sweater t-shirt you can say it is in a 100 percent organic cotton fabric this is such a basic you guys like honestly sometimes i get basics that i myself think is this really worth it to show you because sometimes i'm a little bit still you know mind you still a little bit insecure whether you think it's worth it or not like in the sense of like showing you a t-shirt for example it's such a basic or like a nice shirt that i found somewhere now this is like in that same category this is such a, a basic t-shirt sweater that i think is not boring i would get tons of wear <laughs> out of something like 
like this so i would like to see it from other creators so that's why i'm showing it to you but yeah give me your feedback below what you think because i think my style is super basic with the classics and i think that if you're watching my videos that's pretty much why you're here right so i do think that you appreciate basics like this but don't mind me i'm like too much in my head sometimes but yeah this is like such a beautiful beautiful t-shirt sweater super soft the fit is amazing i really like how it fits my body i got this in a size medium and i think that it has enough room around my arms it falls very nicely like you know the length is very nice i can tuck it in to achieve the way that it falls when it's tucked in and it also has like this very beautiful oatmeal color when you can see it like from the close-up it's like a very nice melange and yeah another piece that i can pair with my jeans with my you know it's nice tailored trousers i can wear this because it's thin enough i can wear it underneath blazers so this is such a good piece to just have a couple in your wardrobe okay next up is this half zip luxe marina wool sweater i don't know how to describe this but this is so warm and cozy and soft it definitely feels luxe let me put it that way it's 100 wool and it is in this beautiful cream color i would say kind of oatmeal-ish it has a zipper as well that's super smooth you can you know easily wear like a t-shirt underneath and you know, wear it open or you can wear it all the way up for the colder like really cold months but yeah the way that it falls as well is like more on the oversized fit kind of side of things a little bit boxy it's just such a cool piece but at the same time so practical and just like a staple to have going into winter i would say but because it's not as i wouldn't say it's like those very thick thick sweaters but at the same time it keeps you warm but because it's not that thick you can easily tuck it in into your jeans or pants and get like that very nice and boxy fit but yeah when i tried this on and also the cardigan it kind of made me think of or reminded me of uniqlo but like the fancier sister of uniqlo i think that everlane has people pieces that are pretty similar when it comes to the vibes and the fit but I can 100% say that their fabrics are definitely a little bit more luxe than Uniqlo all right let's move on to bottoms the first piece that i wanted to show you is this one this is the utility barrel pant i got mine in a size 28 regular they also come in a tall length so if you're taller maybe you want to go for that one now this one because i'm sure you're you know end of the spectrum <laughs> This one I would say is still a little bit too long for me so I will have to get it tailored at the, the length but also at the waist. I'll show you a couple of pieces that I have from the curvy line. This one doesn't have like the curvy option so it's just like only the length they have the regular and the tall version um, so at the waist i definitely have to get it tailored i would say around the legs it fits perfectly super comfortable it has two percent elastane so that makes it even more comfortable and it is like in this beautiful indigo blue wash that it's like super on point i would say for this time of year pairs beautifully with the oatmeal sweaters that i showed you but also with taupey colors also with black so this is like a very nice addition on top of like the classic pair of blue denim this color this wash is a, another like essential or staple to have in the wardrobe all right this is another pair of denim that i've had for a long time in my wardrobe the previous one by the way that one is new this one i've had for a couple of years and this is the way high jeans and they are super high-waisted if you don't like that i don't think you will like this but if you are a fan of high-waisted jeans and you want like i don't know i feel like high-waisted jeans sometimes have that effect of like camouflaging the tummy area so i do like you know a good high-waisted jean and this particular color is on sale right now final sale so if you want you can go ahead and grab it this pair also has the two percent elastane to give you a little bit more comfortability however i still had to get this tailored at the waist because it was way too big for me on the waist this is like a pair that i love to wear in the summer months because it is like a lighter wash but 
in all honesty, you can also wear this in winter depending on how you combine with what you combine it with. But yeah, the other pair of jeans that I've had for a couple of years now is this one. And this is the curvy cheeky jean. So as I told you, I've dabbled into that curvy line that Everlane has, but still I need to get them tailored. This is a pair that I got tailored as well around the waist because it was too big for me. So sometimes it really depends on the style, the wash, how it fits. But regardless, like even though I had to get it tailored, this is still one of my favorite. It doesn't take anything away for me from the brand or from the jeans or anything because I'm used to that and I rather invest a little bit to get something tailored so it fits me perfectly than having just a couple of styles, cookie cutter styles that fit me from the store. So yeah, this is like one of the pairs that I wear all the time. It's such a staple, especially this wash in the winter. Pair so nice with like an all black outfit, but if you want to like play with different shades of black, you can do that in this way. So yeah, <laughs> one of my favorite, most worn, I would say most worn pairs of jeans. And the following one is this one. This is the curvy 90s cheeky straight jean. And this one is the only pair that has a button fly. And for some reason, this is the one pair that I didn't have to get tailored. I don't know what it is. I think the material of this is even 100%. Yeah, it's 100% cotton, no stretch. But yeah, it fitted me right from the store. Maybe it's the wash, I don't know. I really don't know what it is. But if you want, you're curvy like me, maybe you should check this style out and see how it fits you. But this is a very classic wash. They have tons of different washes in all of these jeans, so you have to see what you're looking for. It is a straight leg and the length was great for me as well. So yeah, I would say this is like, if I had to recommend one pair, I would say go for this style. And this is the way high drape uh, linen pants. This is uh, my summer, I would say one of my favorite summer pants because it's tailored, the fit is so nice, so wide around the legs. It has like, especially when you're walking, it has like the flowy effect to it. I sometimes pair this like with super tight bodysuits on top or crop tops or just a regular t-shirt as well will do but yeah this also this color is like an off-white color super easy to combine with everything now this one again i had to get it tailored around the waist and for the length because waist was way too big of course and the length was you know too long for me so if you are tall that's good news for you but yeah the shorter girlies among us definitely you will have to get it tailored unless you are planning on wearing it with like six inch heels or something like that i got it tailored for me to be able to wear it like with flat shoes and with shoes with like just a little bit of a heel because for me wide leg pants like this they need to like almost touch the floor i think that's like the most beautiful fit when it comes to flowy wide leg pants like this okay two honorable mentions that i wanted to share that i no longer have in my wardrobe but i had them in the past is the boxy oxford shirt and this is a shirt that has like two pockets try to find a picture again otherwise i'll just show you the picture on the website but i had this in my collection it is a shirt that is on the thicker side so it's not like a regular classic dress shirt it is a much thicker cotton material so if you are looking for something like that for like in the colder months, that's perfect. For me, I didn't get a lot of wear out of it. So that's why I sold it. And the other piece is a, I'm not super sure how it's called, but it is a wide leg tailored pant. It is a set of this blazer. Again, I'll find it, insert pictures and stuff, but I had it in the same color as the blazer to like wear it as a set, but I had to get that one tailored as well. And the tailoring around the waist, was too snug 
and I could go back and get it fixed at the get-go it wasn't snug at all but I gained some weight and then it became like too tight so yeah I just again I sold that one off as well but I think it's a great piece especially if you're looking for like a suit a set that's like something that you can look at but that's everything for this video you guys I really hope that you enjoyed this that you got some insights into what Everlane has to offer I think they are a fantastic brand that has been around for, you know quite some time now They're they're still not like mainstream but pretty known I would say but because of their pricing they're not like you know the most affordable they're not a luxury either so but because they're not the most affordable sometimes I can understand why you some people would hesitate to try them out but i hope that this video gave you like some idea of what you can maybe give a try if you haven't yet let me know in the comment box down below what other brands you would like for me to review or do like best sellers of i really like doing these videos because i think it gives like a very good idea of what the brand has to offer what their their usps are you know their unique selling points are especially brands that are not the mainstream brands so thank you you so much for watching if you're not subscribed yet we are so close to 100k so please subscribe like the video you know let's boost the algorithm you know as a like going into the new year so thank you again for watching and i'll see you next sunday bye